real solutions to money, relationships, wellness, and more. Shine a light onto your day and into your life. Power Your Life with Dr. Joanne White. Welcome to Power Your Life. I'm Joanne White, your host. Buying or selling a home can be overwhelming. Yet my first guest is here with some expert advice for anyone wanting to learn more about real estate trends and about selling and buying homes. Welcome Louise Phillips Forbes, a real estate broker with Halstead Property. How are you? Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. It's a pleasure for you to be here on the show. You have something that I think is fantastic and it's called real estate matchmaking. And I just love the concept, mm. but behind the concept, how do you do it? How do you know that there's a match between the person and the home? For me, you know, matchmaking in real estate is truly just the art of finding the right home at the right time for the right buyer at the right price. And it's really, I, I kind of equate looking for your home similar to what happens when you find your partner. There's a chemistry that actually takes place that you know you just can't make it up. It, just, it is something that you react to and you know your home. So how do you know, because obviously that chemistry is true and you and we, Absolutely. we talked about my, one of my horror stories in yes. terms of buying a home, but how do you know when the, the prospective home owner says that's it. I mean, do they do they tell you? Do you know beforehand? Is there some something that that you're getting? I think it's it's like putting a puzzle together. You know, I I think that you have to have a lot of no's in order to find your yeses. Right, right. And I also think that you know, real estate is the business of people, and I'm relationally driven, and I think that what what one of the things that I've experienced is that you just I think if you're patient in the process, you will know when you're home. And I just think that I'm more of an educator than I am a salesperson. I think you also listen. You're talking about relationships, mm -hmm. and I think relationships are in every everything, every aspect of business and life. But you listen to your prospective right. homeowner, homeowner, homeowners, yeah, in terms of what they want and what they're looking for and what their needs are price-wise and otherwise. And I, for myself, I, my home is really the base for which the rest of my life happens. It's where I feel my safest. And so if I approach everyone's process the way I look at my home, then that starts off, I'm trying to wear their shoes in every experience and every interaction. And you do so successfully. You're now Indeed. managing people at Halstead, right? And give us a couple of tips in terms of the what we need to do to find the right home at the right price, at the best price, really. Well, my best, my best advice for that will be what I refer to as the three Ps. There's pricing, there's preparation, and there's presentation. And for pricing, most crucially, it's important to price accurately. And I think that, you know, we, talk, we can talk about technology and how that has impacted. It's also not just for buyers, it's for sellers. Right. You need to know your competition. And so do a little research. Do too, research. And know what, what's, being, what's being sold around your area in terms of price. I have often gone and picked up my sellers and we've gone on a tour to look at what other people would look at when they come to look at their home. And secondly, in the preparation, you kind of have to think like the buyer. Remember, they're, everyone's trying to sort of better their lives, and they're looking for more space often. So you can't have your closets falling out with stuff because you won't get rid of anything, and you've been there for 23 years. So you have to declutter. You have a million choices for organizations from the, from the uh, container store in preparing your home. And I think the last part on presentation you know, I love to bring in a pop of color and sometimes how we live in our homes might be a little different with your furniture when you're selling it. That placement. So you have to re you, know, right, you have re to sort of stage right. it and move your furniture and have your real estate professional help guide you through that. I've had sometimes 10 pieces of furniture removed out of a living room because it belonged to their family, multi-generation, but it just was time to put it in storage. Right. And they didn't want to 
let go of it, but again, for staging, it, it just wasn't appropriate. Right. Give us a tip in terms of the market for real estate in the coming year. Oof, it is exciting and hot. I mean, it, the, our, the economists are saying that our real estate market is going to be through 15, we'll have a 5.1% increase. Wow. I'm going to take a risk because the interest rates have been a lot right, in the news. Right. And I say we are going to have an amazing year. And interest rates, even though we had a pop of a, of a right, certain basis right. points, it's not knocking. If anything, that's going to herd individuals to make decisions because we are in a bit of a perfect world in so our market. It's, so it's going to be great for selling and for buying. Absolutely. And particularly if you're making a 10-year buy, we should see a lot of activity to, throughout the year. You help people who are working with their, maybe their, their parents are getting mm. ready to leave and downsize because they have to. What, what's that relationship like? Well, having lost both my mother, right. my father, and my brother, um, I, I think first and foremost, you have to operate with compassion. And I think that, you know, these changes that we we experience is I need to be a, in the solution and in the problem solving. So providing them sources of information. And people that can help them and you, you do wonderfully with that. You're a wonderful resource and that compassion comes through every mm. single time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. My Have pleasure. a great day. Still to come on Power Your Life, he wrote the Silver Linings Playbook and now has a new book, best-selling author, Matthew Quick will join us right after the break, so stay tuned.